welcome to my whoops, welcome to my channel. I am the turquoise teller and I talk about tarot, tassiography, and magic. And today we are here with another unboxing and flip through of this awesome, awesome, awesome tarot deck. I have been waiting for this lovely tarot deck for about a month and it has finally arrived. So we can just look through it and discover this very, very lovely deck. So this is called the Modern Witch Tarot Deck and it was created and written and illustrated by Lisa Sturley, I really hope I'm saying her name right. This person uses she, her pronouns from what I gather by her own website. So this deck is a modern and diverse interpretation of the classic Smithway tarot deck. So this would be called a replica, no, clone, yeah, finally found one. So this would be a clone of the Smith Waite Tarot. And this lovely deck is published by an awesome publishing company called Liminal 11 that aim to create things produced by a diverse range of voices, which I think is great that there is a specific publishing company focused on diversity. And uh, check out their website. Uh, all of their products, all of their tarot cards look amazing. And yeah, so let's get to it. Let's start unpacking this lovely tarot deck. And as you can see, it's all wrapped up with its, um, even with its plastic cover still on outside so this is a, a real unboxing <laughs> I waited for you people so here we go this is well the plastic around it and it's like it's one of those that you slide off and we have this contraption here to I think help us take the tarot cards out easier okay so actually i wanted the limited edition gold foiling so the these sides come oh, this beautiful gold and this publishing company liminal 11 do these limited editions for a limited like actually a limited number of a thousand and hundred and eleven they do the thousand and hundred and eleven who so hard to say thousand hundred and eleven limited edition copies because they're called Liminal 11. My goodness, this is like such a tongue twister. But anyways, so I missed the opportunity. So if anybody has a spare copy that they're dying to get rid of, wink, wink, Liminal 11, they can go ahead and send it my way. I would really appreciate it. It was going to be my birthday present for myself. And then I realized that it was an actual limited edition and there was no more heartbroken tears, but I will settle for this still beautiful deck without the gold boiling on the side. So let's get this show on the road after my little drama story <laughs> okay let's see at a first glance this is a nice thickness for a deck it's not like super 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 duper big it does not seem flimsy either before we get to this though i want to show you all what else they have in the box they have a very nice lovely box here and what I love absolutely love is this little hardback book that they send their decks with I think it's super super nice it's like a little booklet what else can a person ask for instead of the usual one that you get and there are thorough very thorough explanations as you can see here it's not written willy-nilly and it's with the pictures and everything and it has a couple of spreads at the end i find it really useful as a starter tarot reader myself so yeah this is the lovely booklet that it comes with I'm very excited to go through this deck with you all today and so as we can see it is like shiny smooth 
texture so you can see the shine light through it it's not matte i like it though it looks very new and shiny and lovely and this is the full. As we can see, it's very, very similar to Smith Wade in the sense that we have the dog right here trying to stop the full from jumping. We have even the dress looks quite similar with these lovely details. The only thing that is like, whoa, this is definitely a clone is and also what gives it its edge is a little iPod that, that this a fool is carrying in their hand and obviously the backpack but I find it really really nice very modernized and very cool and lovely version of the Smith weight okay and then we have this magician I really really appreciate that the yellows in this card are instead of that bright yellow of the usual Smith weight decks it's more of the mustard yellow and coupled with the purple tones here I think it looks lovely and as we can see here we have a lovely young magician quite different from the usual Smith weight guy magician, the white guy magician that we see. And I really, really like it and I really, really appreciate it as a Middle Eastern person. And we see the high priestess here being a boss and with her computer on her lap. Still, I appreciate keeping up some of the symbolism like the white and the black columns here and the moon at her feet because it reminds me that she has a bit of an edge to her this high priestess just a little detail i love her boots look at those boots kinky boots so good and then the empress man this must be one of my favorite cards of this deck. Obviously, I haven't been through it, but I have some videos. It's just that the Empress, she looks so powerful. Normally in some decks, especially Smith Weight deck, the Empress looks more earthy, more mother-like, nurturing, maybe not as strong. I wouldn't I don't want to say not as strong, but this empress just screams like fierce. You can see, you can see her jewelry. Look at this, look at this jewelry that she's wearing. Look how she's carrying herself, even how she's looking at us. She is just ready to take over the world. And then the emperor, I love love uh i just i just love this deck because the emperor is to me non-binary with some eye makeup look at this eye makeup it's amazing it's because normally even normally the the meaning behind the emperor is that like very not very but disciplined kind of a little bit maybe cold leader and i really like that they kind of expanded the borders of what a disciplined leader could look like because i i think that there is sometimes this perception out there that if you're a certain way if your makeup is a certain way if your look is a certain way you can't be that disciplined person that just goes and takes it all and i feel like i don't know i might be reading too much into just eye makeup but i love the fact that the emperor is non-binary to me they're they look non-binary and that they have eye makeup i i love 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 it The Hierophant. These cards are just so beautiful. Normally when I see the Hierophant card, I, I wince a little bit just because of how I grew up and sometimes what institutions or government or religious institution can, can mean to me. However, I feel like when I look at this Hierophant, I can really see and feel that 
following tradition, you know, kind of like listening to your elders, that side of the, the Hierophant where it's not just religious authority, but it's that thing of like mother knows best, that type of thing. I can really, really feel it. I There's not that thing of levels, first of all. So the Hierophant, as we can see, is at the same level as the listeners here, the followers, the listeners. And as we can see, her dress, it's a relaxed dress. It's not gold. The thing that sometimes parts us, especially like talking personally for myself, parts me from institutions, that power dynamic. I don't see the power dynamic here. I want to listen to this Hierophant. I want to be like, yes, traditions, tell me all about it. And, and, and I just want to say the cardstock is amazing I was a little bit scared just because it's I don't know why shiny cards sometimes come very flimsy the card talk is amazing I really like thick cards can we hear this yeah it's a good amount of paper that went into this and then the lovers another beautiful card in my opinion to me i can't tell the gender of these lovers and i love that i as especially as a queer person i i love that i don't need to be interpreting and, and bending it in my mind it's the card is already so free you know and compared to the smith weight it's not as intense Sometimes when I see the lover's card, I'm like, ooh, like I, it, it feels a little bit heavy sometimes. And this is with the with a little bit more muted colors and the, the kind of like seemingly night sky. I really, really like the depiction of the whole card here. The chariot, man, badass is like the first word that comes to mind which I think is the word that should come to mind with the chariot card. Badass, because you don't even, you don't have the reins because you don't need the reins. You're just, you're guiding your own path with just willpower. Just willpower and you're you're there. You don't need the reins. And this person is like riding a motorcycle with the Sphinx on their footstep. It's like how much more badass could it be? And I really like that they still kept the, astro aspect here that there's a crowning stars and the and the moon adorning this person's leather jacket it's very very much modern with still the symbolism coming through quite strongly i really really like it and then the strength card so so nice strength coming through this is when we use that part of us that is that calm loving strength instead of that aggressive strength you know this is the strength that comes from within i see a lot of peace in this card a lot of acceptance acceptance of, of ourselves i really, really like this card the, the line is like a pet there what a nice card and then the hermit <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is a, what a fun card because Hermit is kind of disconnecting and going on your own and, and getting away a little bit and we can see here that the Hermit is uh, shutting down her laptop and going away in that sense which sometimes we all in all honesty need to do shut off my computer but as Kelly Stam says except for my video in one of her videos I will link it she's hilarious uh, she says, oh, like, get away from all social media except for my videos. So I will echo her and say, we all need to get away from social media except for my videos. <laughs> and yeah, this, this Hermit is very modern, very lovely. You can still see a little bit of the solitude and maybe a little bit sadness or calmness in this 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 person's this character's face it's kind of like I, I had enough of society like i'm just gonna take a break i'm gonna be a hermit for a little while you know i really really like it and i really like that instead of the star being in the sky they're carrying the star so they're carrying the light that's kind of guiding them the dim light and then we have the wheel of fortune interesting very very interesting 
it's super similar to the Smith Wave. It has all the four signs and the depiction of the Wheel of Fortune here. Instead of um, Anubis or like the, the devil-like creature here, we have this person. And instead of the Sphinx with the sword, we have this person. Very, very interesting. Ooh, justice. I love... I know maybe it's uh, something silly to get caught up, but I love how all of these characters are dressed. It's so, this is how I would like to dress every day if I had a little bit more fashion sense. And it's just the expressions that they have, the amount of detail that went into, into this card. We can, we can see it, we can clearly see it. And this lovely Justice card, I really, really like that their face, their facial expression is serene and calm. It's not a vengeful justice. It's a very whatever needs to happen to balance the scales will happen type of justice. I really like it. And then the hanged one. I so much appreciate that it's the hanged one, not hanged man. And yeah, we can still see the calm expression on the hanged one's face. It's it, it was their choice. They they made the choice of hanging here. I would even say that they have a playful expression on their face. I, Haha, yes, I hanged myself here. So what? And then the death. I love, I cannot deny. Look at those boots. Look at the boots of death. <laughs> and I love that it's somebody with type of like a mask on their face that makes them, or like a, a, a bandana that they put like a mask. And I really, really, really like it. This is a lovely, lovely death card. Oh, look at this temperance. My heart sings seeing this temperance. I, the colors and the person, it's just everything is so, so, so lovely. I absolutely love the rainbow t-shirt. I love the colorful red wings. It's an amazing, amazing temperance card. I really, really like it. Moving forward on that lovely temperance card, we have the devil. Again, these two, I would say, non-gendered or ambiguously gendered people. And it's very reminiscent of the usual Smith Waite devil. Ooh, this power card again lovely lovely colors it's just it, it pops everything just I can see the tower burn I can see the people jumping to their demise in order to escape burning tower some things need to be demolished I can I can very much sense and see it oh my goodness this lovely star card I oh this is such a nice star card. I, I really, really like it. I It fills me with joy. And it's, it's such a nice star card, I think. And then we have the moon. With uh, Normally we would have that creepy looking Scorpio or whatever. That, that sea creep. I think Scorpio? Some sort of creature coming in the, in the Smith Wade version. Coming from here. And now it's a, it's a lot more clear. It's this creepy character coming out from the waters. So it's a lot uh, clearer. And normally the, the animals that we hear are made human with animal masks, which I find like a, a breath of fresh air. It kind of looks like they're howling to the moon. Kind of looks like they're witches and they're out there and they're howling to the moon. And then there's a, this creepy shadow here, kind of like a, like a warning. Oh, look at this lovely sun. This, this child so happy. You can just see and feel the sun radiate from this car. This, the happiness of this, this, this child just comes through so, so well. And then the judgment. I really like, and please comment if you think differently. I really like that there are different body types here. Different um, bodies that I can relate to and other people can relate to here in the judgment card. So lovely, so nice. 
and then here we go now we're off to the suits it took me a while to get through the Andrew arcana because they were so so lovely this is the two of wands oh my god i i love this i just whoop, whoopsies I, I i love this and i love that she's holding a phone instead of the world to be honest we hold the world in our hands when we have our phones right we don't know something boom we research it we want to go somewhere boom we book it i mean not these days <laughs> we, we book it and i really really like the combination of modern with the traditional meanings it's not just put there i think it's spot out and then we have the three of wands so so nice with this gray hair lovely luscious gray hair that this person has five of wands <laughs> of course this was made before but i see that there are two of the characters with masks I want to say I adore adore these cards they're so wonderful so diverse I can see how so many people can relate oh my goodness so much power in this six of wands look at her oh my god look at that coat and those pants and those that hair just you can just see, you can just be there. Victory. And I think the reason why this person has a bee-shaped earring might be actually victory. You know, like, please comment below <laughs> if you have any idea. Any other idea, why not? And then seven of wands. I think maybe the only thing I would ask here is that this person be wearing different type of shoes which is something that I, I learned after a lot of research and I think it's an important part of the whole aspect of you're on unequal footing, you know? To be honest, with those types of heels, you might be on equal footing at any time. Eight <laughs> um, of Wands. Nine of Wands. I really, really like the Nine of Wands. Wow, this person has what I would say kind of boxing, not gloves, but those uh, boxing wraps. Normally when I would see this card, I would kind of get the sense that this person is like suspiciously looking at the, the other wands. However, I can see with, with this card, with this depiction, that this person went through a battle and they want, they're like, even if they didn't want, they, they survived, you know, they're, they're a warrior, they're a fighter. I, I get that sense. Wands. Knight of Wands. Oh my god, so beautiful. Look at this. Look at this Knight of Wands. The amount of people of color and the amount of non binary people in this deck just. Oh my god, look at the Queen of Wands. Oh man, this deck is just killing me. So nice. So, so nice. Wow, just amazing. I really like that they kept so much of the symbolism. This would be a really nice starter deck for somebody who's like, you know what, I really don't resonate with the Smith Wade deck, but I want to still learn it with the traditional symbols and signs. Oh, look at the ace of cards. So nice. I really like the use of color. Like I I get a feeling when I see the card without even the symbols. I'm like, I get it so pink and bright and nice. And, and, and there's that little heart symbolizing a potential new love, you know? I really, really like how they did these cards. Two of Cups. Mm, so nice. Look at this Two of Cups. I love, and I really like that one of them is in water, one of them is land. It's basically the coming together of two sides that are meant to come together, that are meant to be together. Like companionship and togetherness. I really, really like that. Oh, so nice. Three of Cups. Look at the Three of Cups. 
Like I just want to go in there and clink glasses with them and be be one and have this have this celebration with them. <laughs> Four of Cups. <laughs> It's a card that's been coming up so much to me lately. Uh, even today, I think I pulled it reverse, and I love it. Look at look at this person. They have a hoodie that says "over it," and you can see that they're over it. I like. I don't care. They're not happy with the choices that they're given. Even though there's another one that's given here, they're just not happy about it all. And I can just first look, and I can just see that they are over it completely. I love this card. <laughs> this deck is so nice. Please get this deck ever. Okay, no. I don't know if that would be advertising. I'm not gonna say, but this deck is, oh, it's singing to me. It's just amazing. I really like the modernization of it all too. Six of Cups. Oh, I really I I love the the depiction of this. It's basically it's usually nostalgia and kind of going back to childhood and they're basically like sharing their cup, sharing their knowledge with their childhood or with like a sibling or or some somebody that they see as they want to kind of pass on their knowledge. I really really like this card and how the way that it was made. I love this. Set it up. Cups <laughs> and then eight of cups. This person with the backpack and everything, just being like, you know what? I'm just leaving these cups behind. Bye. Nine of cups. This card is just making me giggle. It's, it's not card. This deck is making me giggle. Look at look at this person. How content they are. They're just like, yeah, they're my cups. So what? Like just. Ah, oh, so, so, such a lovely deck. Ten of Cups. I want to cry. The family is like a, like a queer family celebrating and just lovely, just amazing. Just, I can't, can't get over it. This page of Cups. This Knight of Cups. They look a little bit down. Kind of like a little bit. Solid, you know, a little bit, yeah. But it might be a usual aspect of the Knight of Cups, overwhelmed with emotion, kind of just sometimes can get too much. And oh, look at this Queen of Cups, mermaid, goddess, so nice. And look at this King of Cups, look at it. I want to go and hug this King of Cups. Look at this style, look at this look, look. Here, just just amazing detail, just amazing detail. Ace of Swords. Wow, so 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 powerful, so lovely and powerful. Yeah. I love the colors. I love the bodies. I love everything about these cards. Ooh, Three of Swords. In all honesty, it's it is. It is still take my breath away type of card with the with especially the black blood oozing. However, I don't know. I don't. I'm not despairing as badly with this card. Seeing this card and then four of swords. This person who cannot sleep. This is me. And in the middle of the night, the tiniest noise wakes me up, and I'm like, <laughs> I can't go back to sleep. I can't go back to sleep. Yeah, this is this person. And it's depicted so nicely. Five of Swords. Interesting. But I can see so well the, the expressions in the character's face. Like at first I was like, oh, maybe it doesn't have that thing of like, ha ha, I won. But then on a closer look, you can just see that they're very content that they won and they're kind of getting the swords of their opponents. And then Six of Swords. So, so, so nice. And then we have the Seven of Swords. You can't be this awesome and <laughs> you're running with swords. <laughs> and then Eight of Swords. So nice. So, so nice. And then Nine of Swords. Again, another one about potential sleeplessness, nightmares. Hmm. <laughs> 
Nintendo Swords. <laughs> Uh, I really like that like this person is there like dead on the ground and still on their phone with uh, 10 swords stuck to their back. We have a knight of swords, a knight of swords, look at this knight of swords, it's just like going to battle, nothing can stop them. And then queen of swords. Okay, and then King of Swords. Look at this King of Swords. Yes, King of Swords. Take me. Amazing. The expressions on the characters' faces are just wow. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Again, with this card, I think my only thing would be to be able to see that like sea and turmoil in the background with the ships so that we can we can kind of understand that it's a delicate pa balance, you know, that it's it's a uh, yes, this person is dancing now that they are able to balance now, but it is still a delicate balance. You know? Wow. Look at this three of pentacles. Amazing. Amazing. There's still that element of doing art together. And there's that element of admiration of the art. And I just, I love it. I love that this person, that's the subject of the art, that they look so proud also. So, so proud. Four of pentacles. So very nice. Mine. Five of Pentacles. Nice. We get that sense of, of chilly winter still. Six of Pentacles. Oh, this is so, so nice. What a great interpretation that there's gifts in hand instead of money. Because sometimes when this card, uh, the Smith Wake version of this card comes up, it can be seen as begging or charity, kind of like throwing money at the problem. But I really like that this is seen as gifts. So just giving from the heart, you know, like we have a small gift, a big gift. So this person is just giving from the heart with what looks like their friends, you know? And I really, really, really like it. Really like it. I love the glasses. Look at, look at these sunglasses. How cool can a person get? And then we have the seven of pentacles. This person is contemplating like, oh, do I keep watering? Or do I just stuff? What am I doing with my life? <laughs> and then eight of pentacles, which is very connected to artistic or, you know, learning your trade or getting training. And I really like that this person is uh, is drawing in what looks like an iPad or something of that sort. Nine of Pentacles. Wow, this is a this is such an amazing nine of Pentacles. It brings you that earthy smell, earthy feeling. This this person is just they look so in peace. They're like, oh yes, I'm collecting my carrots. I'm I'm taking care of my garden. I just you know you know that part of your life when you are just caring for your garden and nothing else and I love it I, I, I and I love the little bird on this person's head I love this is such a nice lovely deck with a very good variety of ages and and gender representations and people of color and this ten of pentacles it looks so so lovely look at this ten of pentacles it's like family and getting together and dogs and everything Ooh, page of pentacles i want to get to know all these cards you know they're they're all so full and interesting and so so lovely knight of pentacles my god queen of pentacles so so 
beautiful. I can feel Mother Earth. Just I can feel that earthiness. I love that there's still the rabbit here. I, I, I really, really love this card. What a wonderful card. So look at the expression on her face. It's just it's so serene. It's, it's you know when you make a mistake and you're still embraced by this mother. You can you can completely see the compassion. King of Pentacles. I'm just amazed by these cards. And we are done. And then we have this everything is fine which is the the ten of swords i think this is a, an extra card i'll read up more and at the end of a deck we have a lovely message from lisa sturdy so let's shuffle as any as if you've seen my video on smith deck that I'll put up here somewhere. I am really into the noise that the cards make when I'm shuffling and the feel that I get when I'm shuffling. So let's see what feel I get with these cards. It smells good. I, I like the smell. It's like, uh, you know those um, we would have, in middle school, we would have these English books that would be this, this very shiny material and I would, I would love to smell the books. And it kind of smells like that, that plasticky uh, boucher, I think it's called in British, but that type of uh, printed uh, books, I don't smell like that. It sounds really nice when when shuffling. Whoop! We're escaping. Whoops. Okay. I was actually going to do a reading, but the cards know better. So <laughs> we have two cards that already jumped up. I actually wanted to show you all how this deck spreads after we shuffle it. And it spreads beautifully. So it spreads very smoothly, very nicely, very evenly. And I usually do two, no, three cards. I usually do three cards. We got seven of pentacles, six of pentacles. And it might be that the card the deck is new. So the other one I'm going to actually pick from here. And we got a knight of wands, which I had fallen in love with <laughs> during the flip through look at this night okay so the seven of pentacles was the first one that came up as i said and seven of pentacles is usually that moment in our lives where we're nourished as we can see this person has nourished and taken care of these plants however they seem to be in a little bit of a pause you're like, do I keep nourishing these plants? Is, is my has my effort been kind of recognized, or uh, do I go through with this still? Do I keep do I keep giving my effort? Do I keep giving my resources into this uh, venture, into this thing that I have so loved and wanted uh, for a while? And this person is just kind of like at a standstill, maybe not knowing whether to stop or go with what they want or what they have been wanting for a while. The Six of Pentacles is another card that I was very, very much fond of while doing the flip through. And it is this person, this very, very generous person giving gifts. 
So this could also be the universe giving us gifts and or this could be a signal of please share your gifts. Please share what you have with your friends, with your loved ones. So it could have been a time where a lot of contemplation, a lot of thinking happened. We were very much in our, uh, in our own minds uh, thinking, oh, do I, do I stop? Do I go? What, what do I do? And maybe we were not connecting to our surroundings, to the people that love us, to the people that need us the most. And this shows, this kind of like urges us to, to do that right away to give gifts, to give gifts from the heart. So meaning gifts from the heart just can just be like um, making homemade bread, making uh, some sort of homemade meal. I think I'm getting a bit hungry. <laughs> uh, making some sort of something from our hearts. Not even, we don't need to, need to even make. It's, it can just be calling up our friends, calling up our family and just being like, hey, do you need anything? Can I be there for you? Of course we do this when we have the resources ourselves. So this person, we can clearly see that she like has the resources. She's giving from the heart. She's not sacrificing from herself. She's not giving something that she doesn't have. She is giving that won't in a way that that won't take away from her and she's giving from a place of being able to give and i think this card is signaling for us that we're going to arrive or urges us to arrive to a point where we're giving from the heart fully and the knight of wands this lovely lovely card that i fell in love with knights are what carries the suit forward the warriors of the suit do it cards in my opinion they're they're like charge forward cards and knight of wands wands is passion wands is fire knight of wands those two coming together is just basically telling us go forward you know that time that you were just thinking you were contemplating is it worth it is it not worth it do i do I commit more resources, more emotional energy? This card says yes, yes. It says yes, charge forward with all your might. Follow your passion, follow your desire, follow your instinct, basically. It's, it's telling us to go for it, to charge forward. This Knight of Wands, is there's no question in their face. They are, are calm, they are cool, and they know where they're going. They are following their passion, they're following their fire. Uh, so this card urges us to go forward and follow our passion with the advice of connecting and giving from the heart to the people around us, to the people that might need us. So this could also mean, please check in with people that you care, that they might need a little bit of support. They might need a little bit of checking in and a little bit of, do you need anything? Can I do something for you type of thing? And yeah, so this is our surprise reading for today. And yeah, this is the lovely Modern Witch Tarot deck. I would recommend it to anybody, new or, or old tarot readers. I think that a lot of people who might have not been able to resonate with the Smith Wade characters could find people here that they can bond with, that they can see their partners, that they can see their friends, that they can see themselves most importantly. And also, even for people that do feel comfortable with Smith, Smith Wade Carol, this could be a lovely way to expand those boundaries of, of relating to each other, right? Uh, what happens when uh, a binary person sees a non-binary uh, card? And they're thinking, oh, but I don't relate to this card. That might be a little window of what every non-binary person in the world feels when they just click on any old TV show, you know, nothing relatable. Or when a person of color feels or might feel when they see so many movies in a row, right? It might be a glimpse. It might be a, a, a reality check, even for people who are fine with the Smith Waite version of the deck. I personally love this card as a, a 
Middle Eastern person, I relate. I felt so much joy seeing the people go through their journeys in this in this deck. And I cannot wait to use this deck in the future. So yeah, thank you so so much for joining me in this uh, in this lovely unboxing and flip through of the Modern Witch Tarot deck. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe i try my best to test to put out videos every wednesday and i know in my last video i said that i will put out a video about magic i could not wait to get my hands on this card and start <laughs> reading with this card so yes i am doing uh, another unboxing and flip through instead of video about magic and potentially me failing <laughs> Not failing, but my my fail moments trying to do simple magic, simple spells was my idea. Anyways, uh, I hope you found something that resonates with you. I hope that uh, this was this was fun and not just ye old flip through. So thank you, and I will see you next Wednesday.